a Matt's Mox video with Lego? Gee, I wonder what he's trying to milk now, or is he running out of content? Hey peeps, Matt's Mox here, and today we are going to be looking at, well, what's left of the Lego collection, or at least part one of a series, because you're going to see it's definitely been uh, deteriorated upon over time. It's shrunk and shrunk and shrunk. Sometimes it grows, but not all the time. So, you could rate this as many as you want. And a 1 to 5, I'd say we're going to go with a 4 brick separators on this. So, without further ado, let's get through part 1. So, this is all contained within one box. We have the house... My uh, Spanish-style house that I made a while back. Uh, the only uh, new things on it is, obviously, uh, Philly Brickfest Matt's Mox brick. You know, very legendary, famous brick added to it. We have the clothesline, which was seen before. The Buy Cola Cola sign is now on the building. And the interior is modified a little bit because, well, it's where my minifigure lives. His office is in there, the cape, the, compu the computer, the OG printer is in there. The printer is like my first Lego mock, and it's still around. The bed, bathroom, yeah. It's, it's a nice little house. But, uh, yeah. It's, it's gone. You know, the rest of the city is gone. I mean, we still got the AE-86, we got the police car, we have uh, the guy who works at Saws Bucks. If you're very familiar with a old, early 2000s YouTube meme of a certain mustache man working at uh, restaurants to get money. We've got Mau Mau, who, for some reason, his left eye never stuck on, so he's always been right-eyed. Chase McCain, can never forget a name like that. Lego Island guy, the raccoon. Still got our Willie's Jeep. We got the Johnstown Brinney car. The trailer, the narrow gauge. If you remember an old video of mine where I converted the Emerald Knight to uh, the style of rod operation. And it still works good after all this time. We do have... Of course, because we supported M&R Productions, a LEGO 501st Battle Pack. As you know, this is now a super rare, super valuable set. We also have, still keep a classic Kuzo era DeLorean. Yeah, Kuzo. And what's left of the clone and droid armies? Of course, they're in a very poor state. Unfortunately, when I was younger, I was also stupid. So that's why we have the Blackout Troopers are still around. And like the two that I did as 501st. Although this one's not too bad. This one though, I would love to get it cleaned back up. I'd also love to get the Blackout Trooper and the Gunner cleaned back up. But Commander Blackout himself... Honestly, oh, yeah, the reason why I actually did him up was because this helmet was defective straight from the factory. It never, it never stood, stuck to a, stuck. It never actually stayed on a minifigure's head. It came with the 2009 AAT with uh, Yoda and the two super battle droids. Which is where I, the majority of my Super Battle Droids come from. But yeah, I made Commander Blackout. He was my own personal commander. And I still have him. And, you know, he, he hangs on as a relic from the past. Same for the two not clones, but dressed like clones and they look pretty cool. Obviously the droids... Obi-Wan Kenobi, because let's be honest, he goes with Captain Rex. Magna Guards, I don't know what happened to the fourth one. And also my Super Battle Droids, which, as you know, 
us Lego guys, we love our super battle droids. Nothing is better than a super battle droid. I also have a bunch of 9-volt track, but you don't care about that stuff. It's all about the super battle droids, one of which, of fortunately, I custom done over as a kid to that uh, one that I saw. Uh, it was like, now it's a Legends thing where it had like the lightsaber-proof armor and it was like all scary in that. Yeah. So that's why he looks the way he does. Of course, gotta watch out for those wrist rockets. So I guess in a sense, this is a Clone Army episode too. Wow. Just wait till next time when we look at minifig stuff. I also have two sets that are in bot. Well, by saying that, I completely forgot about life on Mars. I need more life on Mars. That's the only more Lego that I want to get. Life on Mars. That's all. And uh, maybe this Friday I'll have another video. Or Saturday. Depends on how I feel. Well, that's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.